In this lecture we're going to learn how to work out the pH of weak acids and weak alkalis. The learning outcomes for this lecture are firstly to be able to use the equation pH equals a half pKa minus log C to determine the pH of weak acids and alkalis. And secondly to predict the relative strengths of weak acids and alkalis using either their Ka or their pKa values. Let's look at how we work out the pH of a weak acid. So here's our typical weak acid, ethanoic acid. Now, if we know we've got one mole per litre of ethanoic acid, we cannot assume we'll have one mole per litre of hydrogen ions, because we know, this being a weak acid, it does not completely dissociate. The concentration of H plus ions produced will depend on how many of the ethanoic acid molecules dissociate, which is, uh, can be worked out from the equilibrium constant for this equilibrium, where the equilibrium value K, and we use Ka when we're working out the equilibrium of a weak acid, is the concentration of the reactants, sorry, the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So, if you've got a high Ka value, that means that a lot of the ethanoic acid molecules dissociate, giving quite a lot of H plus ions. Where if you have a really low value for your Ka, then not many of the ethanoic acid molecules dissociate, and you have a low concentration of H plus ions. So, the H plus ion concentration, and hence the pH, is going to depend on the Ka value and the concentration of the ethanoic acid. And this is all captured in this equation, which we will use for working out the pH of weak acids. And you'll find it on the formula page of your data booklet. So the pH of a weak acid equals a half pKa minus a half log C. Where C is the concentration of the weak acid and pKa is a measure of the Ka value. And you'll find the Ka value and the associated pKa values in, on page 13 of your data booklet. So let's look at an example of working out the pH of a weak acid. So calculate the pH of a 0.1 mole per litre solution of ethanoic acid. So first thing we do is we notice it's ethanoic acid. We know that's a weak acid. So we know we're going to use this equation to work out this pH. So pH equals a half pKa. We look up our data booklet and we get the pKa value, which is 4.76 minus a half log of the concentration, which was 0 0.1. A half of 4.76 is 2.38 and a half log 0 0.1 comes to negative 0 0.5. So you have to be careful with your signs here because you're often taking away negatives. So that's 2.38 plus 0 0.5 so it's 2.88 is the pH of the solution. Okay, here's another example for you to try. Calculate the pH of a 0.2 mole per litre solution of methanoic acid. Methanoic acid is a weak acid, so you're going to use this formula to work out its pH. So stop the lecture and work through this, and then I'll give you the answer. So you should have got an answer of two, a pH of 2.22. Right. In these first couple of examples, uh, you've obtained the pKa value from the data booklet, but occasionally you get asked about weak acids which are not listed in the data booklet. 
in which case they're likely to tell you what the Ka value is. So you have to, to change the Ka value into the pKa value in order to use this equation. So let me show you how that's done. Well, you should recognise this equation for working out the pH of strong acids and alkalis. So pH equals negative log H plus. And similarly, pKa equals, well this p symbol really means the negative log. So that just means the negative log of Ka. Okay. So using this equation you can work out the pKa value from the Ka value if you're working with an acid, weak acid which is not listed in the data booklet. This equation itself is given the data booklet as well. So let's look at an example. The Ka value for stearic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4. Calculate the pH of a 0.01 mole per litre solution of stearic acid. Okay. So we know we're going to have to know the pKa value. So the pKa value is going to be the negative log of the Ka value which is 1.8 times 10 to minus 4. So the pKa value for the stearic acid comes out at 3.74. Okay, so that's just a little extra step sometimes you're going to have to use. Thereafter, just pH equals a half pKa minus a half log C. So it's a half of 3.74 minus a half of the log of 0 0.01 so that comes to uh, 1.87 uh, minus negative 1 so we get a value of the pH of 2.87 okay Right, here's one for you to try. So the Ka value of a lake acid is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 7. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.1 mole per litre solution of lake acid. So stop the lecture, try that, and then I'll run through our answer. Okay, so you should have got an answer of 3.72. Okay, there's a couple of other ways you can ask slightly more demanding questions. For example, a solution of benzoic acid has a pH of 3. What is the concentration of benzoic acid? Well, we're going to be using this equation. See, so in all the questions so far, basically you've had the concentration and the pKa and you just use that to work out the pH. But sometimes if you're particularly nasty, they might ask you to work out the concentration, having given you this and this, or they'll ask you to work out the pKa or even the Ka value, having given you the C and the pH. So you have to be able to manipulate this equation. So in this example the pH is 3.0. The pKa value you can get from the data booklet, benzoic acid is 4.2 and the concentration is an unknown. So that's 3 equals 2.1 
minus a half log c so take 2.1 over so it's 3 minus 2.1 so we have 0 0.9 equals a half log c uh, I like to have an unknown on the left hand side so I'm just going to rewrite this with the log c on the left hand side this is my personal choice take the negative over so a half log c equals negative 0 0.9 multiply each side by 2 so log c equals negative 1.8 so the concentration we need to take the anti-log of both sides so we take the anti-log of negative 1.8 and that gives us an answer of 0 0.0158 moles per litre okay so I'm going to give you one to try yourself it's going to be a wee bit tricky uh, you're going to be given C and you're going to be given the pH and you're going to have to determine initially the pKa value and then you're going to have to convert that to a Ka value. So, a 0.2 mole per litre solution of pentanoic acid has a pH of 4.5. Calculate the Ka of this weak acid. So pause the tape and have a go at that. Then I'll run through the answer. Okay, so the pKa value came out at 8.3 and the Ka value should be 5.01 times 10 to minus 9. So very well done if you got that right. Okay, so that's like the end of the calculation side of things. I want to just briefly look at the relative strengths of weak acids and alkalis. Okay, so here's our generic uh, weak acid partially dissociating to give you the X minus and the H plus ions and the Ka value is given by this equilibrium now as mentioned at the beginning if the Ka value is high that means you've got a lot of product so you'll have a high constant of H plus ions so a high Ka value means that it's quite a strong weak acid okay. so the bigger the Ka value the more H plus ions, so the stronger the weak acid is. So this is the picture from your data booklet giving the Ka value and the pKa values for a variety of weak acids. Now the acid with the highest Ka value is, in this list is the sulfurous acid 1.4 times 10 to minus 2. So it's got the highest Ka value, so it's the strongest of the weak acids. And it does say in your learning outcomes you should be able to compare the relative strengths of acids using the Ka or the pKa value. Well, the pKa value goes in the other direction, so the higher the Ka value, the stronger the acid. And it gives a lower pKa value. For bases, uh, in your data booklet, it doesn't give you the KB value for the ba bases, it actually still just gives you the KA value. But only are three uh, alkalides given in your data booklet, 
ammonium, methyl ammonium and phenyl ammonium and it quotes a Ka value for them. Now the Ka value and the Kb value are uh, inversely proportional because when you multiply them together you get the ionic product 10 to minus 14. So here we have the methyl ammonium has got the lowest Ka value so that means it will have the biggest Kb value so this is the strongest of the weak bases whereas the phenyl ammonium has got the highest Ka value so it will have the lowest Kb value and so it will be the weakest of the weak bases so the bigger the Ka value the smaller the Kb value and the weaker the base So by now you should be able to use the equation pH equals a half pKa minus a half log C to determine the pH of weak acids and weak alkalis. And you should be able to predict the relative strengths of weak acids and alkalis using either the Ka or the pKa values.